Hey guys, it's Kay here, and please ignore the dead flowers, the Christmas tree, and the lights without a lampshade. That light, actually, I've had it for maybe over, well, I've had that light for years, but it's been in this house for over a year, and I still don't have a lampshade. It is what it is normally. You guys don't see it. Christmas tree, it's the day after Christmas, so even though this video's probably gonna go out on New Year's, I'm not taking my tree down yet, and then the flowers, I'm... I'm working on it, but today I'm so, so excited because I'm going over my wish list for the new year, my wardrobe wish list, and I just feel like I have some pieces in there that aren't common in terms of like brand names and stuff like that, so let's get into it. And I have my phone just because like I need to go through my list, but the first thing is going to be from a brand called Cocinelle. Co you know what, let's just search how to say this. Ladybug, then said as coccinelle, coccinelle in French. Coccinelle. Oh, it's a French brand? Coccinelle. From a brand named Coccinelle. No, I definitely thought this was an Italian brand. Give me one second. It says Coccinella is a luxury Italian brand producing bags and accessories. It was created by the Mazzieri family in 1978 in Barma. So I don't know, maybe it's the same thing in Italian, but I do tend to love Italian leathers. When I had the chance to go to Venice as well as Rome, I was just like, whoa, like they do leather so different than we do. The bag I want is the Maggie Ostrich Mini. I think I want it in the mini size. I can't really go into a store to find this bag because it is an Italian brand sold in Italy. I could get it on Farfetch, but I went straight to the website to do more research about this bag and so I think the mini is going to be a good size for me but it does come in two sizes. I have been wanting a olive green bag for the longest however I couldn't find the right shade so I've just been waiting for like two years for the right bag to come along and when I saw this I was like that's it that is it and this bag reminds me of I don't even think Prada makes this bag anymore but it was the Prada Sidonie bag and I saw it when I was in Venice and at that time I was like, oh, can I really afford to spend this much on a bag? Even now, spending like a thousand plus dollars on a bag, it's, that's a lot of money. And so I didn't do it. And then I went to Germany to visit one of my friends at the time and I saw the bag again and it was on sale and I still just could not find it in me to do it, but I love the shape of that bag. And so because this is so similar, I was like, it's meant to be. It's meant to be, it's at a good price point. It's similar to a lot of the contemporary brands that you can find in the US. And I also like this bag in this magenta purple color. It is gorgeous, oh my gosh, I think for spring, I would be stepping out looking amazing. I want it so, so badly. Now y'all knew I was gonna have Tory Burch on this list. It is not my wardrobe if I'm not consistently looking for something Tory Burch. That brand just sings to my heart. But I have the Tory Burch Lee Radsville bag, um, the double bag in two sizes, the normal one and then the small. However, I've been looking into getting a petite and one of the petite bags that I wanted went on sale and I still didn't get it. And so the fact that I had been wanting that bag for a whole year and when it finally went on sale, I was still hesitant. Just let me know that it's probably not meant to be, but I did figure out why. <laughs> I am going to put up both bags, the one wow. that went on sale that I didn't get and the one that I'm hoping to get. The one that went on sale, it's very, very soft pastel green. I've seen it in stores. Sometimes it doesn't even look green. And I think that what I was wanting was more of a mix of like a light green and a Tiffany blue. And so the botanical bag that's coming out is just so, so gorgeous to me. Also the handle on the one that I didn't get, I have a bag with that handle color from Tory Burch. I do not have a chocolate colored handle. And so it just made more sense. I've only seen it being sold on Luis Villaroma and, is that how you say that? I think so. And Saks Fifth Avenue. Saks Fifth Avenue has the small size and then I believe Luis Villaroma has the petite size. And I want the petite size. 
The final bag that I'm looking into is from a brand called Yusefi or Yusefi, and it is their mochi bag. So I I have a few totes, and I don't really need another tote. However, I think this is so gorgeous, and for the summertime, I would just step out in this. The shade I want is called Midnight Blue. It reminds me of this bag I saw in Tamara. It was a Hermes Kelly in... I don't know what that color was, but I just remember seeing that bag and thinking that is the most beautiful shade of blue that I have ever seen. And this bag, I think it's a, a smidge darker, but it gives me that same feeling now. I did get a blue tote bag from Dragon Diffusion last year, and I also have a blue Tory Burch bag, and normally that's how I like to do my colors. It has to be bags that have a different function. So maybe I have the same color in two bags, or like the same color palette in two bags, but one is a crossbody, one's a top handle. One's a tote, one's a small mini bag. And since I already have a blue tote, and a blue top handle slash crossbody bag. I'm not so sure that I can justify getting this bag, so we'll see. I'll look into some other colors for it, but I think the silhouette is lovely. Chef's kiss. Now getting into some jewelry that I want. I don't have a specific brand or style, especially because if you guys have watched my jewelry collection video, you'll know that a lot of my jewelry is vintage. It's just as I come by it, but I do want maybe two more pinky rings, another dainty one that probably has some diamonds or crystals on it, and then a chunky gold pinky ring. That's what I'm looking into. I'll probably find those on Etsy. I'll put some photos up of examples of what I'm looking for. And then I want a hollow bracelet. So I'm not a huge fan of bracelets, especially because I can feel them moving around just too much and I don't like to feel my jewelry moving. I say that as I have no jewelry on in this video. Um, probably should have done better. <laughs> it's fine. But I don't like to feel my jewelry moving around. And so I think that because a bolo bracelet, you can adjust it tighter. It won't move as much and I'll feel a lot more comfortable with the bracelet. I also want a ruby bracelet. I have ruby earrings. I have a ruby ring. Um, and I just think a bracelet is the next thing for my ruby slash garnet. It could be ruby or garnet collection. The final thing for jewelry that I want, I think is going to be some diamond earrings, some studs, or it doesn't have to be diamonds. I just need a really light shade um, gemstone so that it goes with most of my outfits. It could be moissanite, it could be aquamarine, um, topaz, I don't really care. <laughs> I just want some studs because this ruby stud that I like to wear, I just, it's deep and I want like some brighter jewelry framing my face for the summertime. Moving on to clothing, I want this reversible belt from Tory Burch. I think it's quite functional and I'm not a collector of belts. Belts have, they're just not my thing. They don't go with a lot of my outfits. However, I think a thin one that has two shades will do what I need to do. I do have a Michael Kors belt that has brown on one side and black on the other, but that belt has become very worn out. Also, it's a very thick belt and my style has just become more dainty over the years. I need some cream pants. I don't know where they're gonna be from. I think they're gonna be from Abercrombie and Fitch. I saw some, they were called the High Rise Twisted Seam 90s Relax Jean. I think I'm gonna go into the store and see if I could try those on. I wish I would have bought them at the beginning of the sale, but I, for so long, all of my jeans are Levi's. So I didn't think that I wanted to go outside of Levi's, but Levi's has not come out with a cream jean that I have liked in the past year. And I had to sell my other cream jeans. They were the High Loose, I believe, in Ikru or Ekru. And ugh, I was so upset about that. I got those pants tailored to my height and everything. They were perfect. <clears throat> and then I put on a little more weight and I had to get rid of them and that's okay. But I'm, oh, I had my voice thing on and so it's literally writing out everything I'm saying. Yikes, okay. But I need some cream jeans. I will wear them frequently. It's been missing, I will put an outfit together and I'm like, ah. Oh, this would have been nice with some cream jeans. So that's how I know that I actually do need it. Or I guess anything I say I need is a want, but you know what I'm saying. 
Final thing on my wish list for clothing is going to be this, I think it's a wool super soft sweater from Zara. I used to work at Zara and I remember they had this sweater on sale but the original price was like $100 and this was like three years ago, four years ago. So that's how you know that it's always been expensive and it just felt like butter and I've been trying to find one ever since and I'm I'm thinking it's either wool or cashmere, even though I itch with wool. And I itch with cashmere, so I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go into the store and try it on to see. I just want clothing that's super soft on my skin. And going into this year, comfort above anything. Comfort, comfort, comfort. I'm getting to a point where I don't want to wear anything that is restrictive and uncomfortable on my body. Now I know this is my wardrobe wish list, but I do want to have a few honorable mentions for things that are not going into my wardrobe. And that is going to be a pair of headphones that fully cover my ear because I have, I'm like mumbling, because I have a lot of piercings, headphones that sit on my ears will hurt after a while. And also I don't like to work out with earbuds. Either they fall out or they just start to hurt if I'm wearing them too long. I saw the Apple headphones. I don't know if they fully cover your ears, but those are like $500. And I don't wear my headphones. I don't even wear my earbuds. I don't have headphones, so I don't wear my earbuds. <laughs> Nearly enough to warrant $500, but I am gonna find some. I just need them to play my sound clearly. Like that's all I'm looking for. And then I realized I need some new pillows. My bedding needs to become a more important part of my life and I am potentially moving this year. I'm just gonna put that out there. So I'm gonna be getting a new bed anyways and bedding is so important. The bedding that I have right now is from Australia. Um, they did not ship to the US. I had to ship it to one of my friends that lives in Australia and then have her ship it to me. And I was like, thank you so, so much. It was someone that I went to school with. She was an exchange student and I just still had her on Instagram. And I was like, girl, I hope it's not too much to ask, but can I please get this bedding? And I probably will want some more bedding from that company once I move out. As well as, I know I've been talking about not having a lampshade, so. I definitely wanna get like a really gorgeous lampshade that follows my ocean theme. Maybe it'll have some like squiggles in it or just texture similar to my rug, which I don't think I've ever done a living room tour. And I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> but that is everything that is on my wish list so far for 2023. And if you guys see me getting these items, you know, be excited for me. I do hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe this gives you some ideas for what you may want going into the new year. The only thing I definitely recommend is that don't impulse buy. Try to save your money. Do what you can, keep items on your list for as long as possible to ensure that you truly want them. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Bye.